Chapter 1 Faith and Life Everything in this universe really brings us closer to God and helps us to grow in our faith in God. Albert Einstein was one of the greatest scientists of the 20th century, the proponent of the theory of relativity. A true believer in God. There is an incident which reveals the truth. When students came to class, Albert Einstein was praying. One of the students wrote on the board, God is nowhere. When Einstein came after some time, he observed the sentence on the board. He took the same piece of chalk and drew a line between now and here with great serenity. Then the sentence became God is now here. Man in search of God. There is a longing embedded in the heart of man at the moment of creation to meet God and love Him. This is a gift of the Creator. This intense longing of man for God is expressed in the famous words of Saint Augustine. O oh God, you created me for you. My soul will be restless until it becomes one with you. God himself who answers man's search for God for him. God lovingly reveals himself through the creatures and created him. God's self-manifestation is God's self-revelation through his words and actions. The perfection of revelation is in Christ. Hence, Christ, the Word of God, who took up flesh, is the perfection of divine revelation. Faith and answer to divine revelation. Faith is the response of man surrendering himself to God, who revealed himself through Jesus Christ. We call this response faith. Faith is a response to the call of God. The model of Jesus enables us to surrender ourselves totally to God, to accept unconditionally whatever is revealed through Him and obey Him. The best examples of such Self surrendered are our forefather Abraham and Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God. Abraham, the father of the faithful. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to set out for a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he set out not knowing where he was going. He became the father of all faithful, or believers. God formed a special set of people through Isaac and his son Jacob. What is faith? The letter to the Hebrews defines faith thus. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. Mary the Blessed who believes. The full picture of obedient faith is Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary who believed that nothing is impossible for God and who gave her consent saying, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. 
Let it be with me according to your word. Received with faith God's message and promise given through Angel Gabriel. Elizabeth quoted Mary saying, Blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Because of this faith, all generations call Blessed Virgin Mary, Blessed. Mary has a very important role in the Salvation Act. She gives silent witness to faith in the fulfillment of Jesus' mission. She remained firm in her faith throughout her life, even in the last trial of the death of her son Jesus on the cross. Hence, Church reveres her as the pure realization of her. Characteristics of faith. Faith is the gift of God. It is the Holy Spirit that leads human hearts to God. God's grace and the help of the Holy Spirit are necessary to inspire human beings to put faith into action. Second, faith is a human act. Though faith is a gift of God, it is a human act. It is befitting to human reason and freedom to depend on God and to embrace the truth revealed by Him. St. Thomas Aquinas says, Faith is the act of the intellect, surrendering himself to divine revelation, obeying the command of the will by grace. Obedience is an act of faith. Disobedience is the result of unbelief. Third, faith a gift that perfects reason. Faith helps us to perfect the knowledge that man discovers through his own intelligence. All that God reveals may not be understandable to human intelligence, but we believe because it is revealed by God. Fourth, faith, the beginning of eternal life. In this earthly pilgrimage, faith enables us to enjoy in anticipation the light and joy of heaven, our destination. All of us live in this world with the hope of the heavenly glory that we expect to attain. Hence, we have already begun eternal life by our faith. Heaven is our destination. Fifth, faith, a gift to be protected daily. Today we live in a menu of where we are challenged and tortured in the name of faith. Fifth, faith, a gift to be protected daily. Hence, constant effort is required to continue in faith until death. For we have become partners of Christ. If only we hold our first confidence firm to the end. Faith a gift to be perfected. Themes of faith. The basis of faith is the mysteries which God has revealed. First, faith in the Holy Trinity. The most important among the mysteries of faith in the Church is the faith in the Holy Trinity. It is a faith in God the Almighty Father and Jesus Christ His Holy Son and in the Holy Spirit the Life Giver. Faith in the Holy Catholic Church 
Among the mysteries of the church, another important subject of faith is faith in the Holy Catholic Church. In the creed, we declare that we believe in the only, holy, apostolic and universal church. This church is the people of God, the mystical body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit. Jesus has entrusted the church to continue his mission of salvation. Third, faith in eternal life. Another mystery in Christian faith is faith in eternal life. The church believes that there is eternal life after death and each one will have heaven or hell in eternity according to his or her life in this world. This faith in heavenly life enables us to live hopefully in the midst of sufferings and sorrows in this world. Levels of Faith in Life Faith, a divine gift, grows through each one's life. There are four levels of faith. First, church level. Faith life grows, gets empowered and bears fruit in the only, holy, apostolic and catholic church. This process is possible through regular listening to the word of God, reception of sacraments and a lifestyle based on the commandments of God. Only a person who grows in ecclesial lifestyle can be a model of perfect Christian life. Second family level. Faith is handed over to the next generation in the family, the whole church. Faith transferred through parents, brothers and sisters strengthens one in faith. Third, personal life. True personal life is a clear reflection of deep faith. The ways of growth and the experiences therein, the convictions formed out of these experiences and life witnesses are factors of persuasion and inspiration in an individual's faith for me. Community level. Community is powerfully influential as family. Personalities capable of becoming models to man as a social being will give inspiration to faith life. Lifestyle of spiritual person founded on faith is capable of awakening man's social consciousness. In addition to that, our lives rooted in faith will be an inspiration for many to lead a good life. Assignment. Explain with example. What is faith? How can you practice faith in your life? 